Conservative New Media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, and I have a special guest today. I'm being interviewed, and we are joined by, so this is kind of like a joint deal here. We're doing our videos, and, and uh, he's been kind enough to let us do videos of this call and his interview. Uh, Rodrigo Farrar of UOL from Brazil is calling me and calling us, talking here about uh, some MMA stuff. Now this guy is, is big time, UOL, UOL is big time in Brazil. I mean these guys do amazing, amazing numbers so you need to check their stuff out. And um, this guy has interviewed Anderson Silva, sat down with them, everything like that. Now Rodrigo, thanks for joining us and I know you wanted to ask me some questions and I'll just open up to you to just roll. Hey John, thanks a lot man. It's just, um, actually I was amazed at the quantities of MMA videos like fans and, and not only fans, you know, uh, they, they used to, they usually put on, on YouTube and I, I was really, uh, and I really wanted to, to write a story about that and I saw your videos and I got pretty interested as well and, and let me start asking you, um, you usually post your videos from a lot of different subjects, right? When and why did you start to predict fights and talk about MMA on YouTube? Yeah, I, I think I started doing this uh, a few years ago. I mean, my background, basically, I've been an athlete all of my life. Um, you know, I was a uh, national world class in, in three strength and combat sports, you know, potentially four if you want to include Olympic lifting. I was actually recruited uh, by the uh, U.S. Olympic uh, lifting, weightlifting team to go at, at when I was actually at, a, at another competition for powerlifting. Powerlifting is basically sort of my best sport. I won four national championships in that. And at one of uh, the junior nationals, I was actually recruited, um, uh, you know, to go do Olympic lifting with the U.S. team. But I, you know, I was better at powerlifting than, than Olympic uh, weightlifting, I thought, and I was happy doing what I was doing. Um, the other thing too is that you know the U.S. the U.S. team is uh, in comparison to the world, uh, we're not as good of of uh, weightlifters, but our powerlifting is the best in the world. So. So I didn't, okay. I didn't think I was going to be able to win a medal in, in Olympic weightlifting, but I, you know, felt pretty confident that I could keep doing great in powerlifting. So, uh, you know, with my background in judo and martial arts and wrestling and, and, and lifting and training athletes, I've always loved the uh, MMA. I've always loved uh, the fights, and I just felt like I had some, you know, inside knowledge that I could maybe uh, partake to the fans and kind of tell them about it and also have a certain... Uh, interview style uh, when I talk to the fighters and I think that's you know we've been lucky that that's been well received and I've been pretty pretty good on my predictions and, uh, and how many views did you, did you have so far? We, we've got about 13 million views on our videos but we do videos on all, okay. kinds, on all kinds of different things so it's not okay. just MMA yeah, yeah and when did you start to talk about MMA on YouTube? I think a couple years ago we started talking about MMA. It may have even been, uh, I, I think, a couple years ago. I, I've always, okay. yeah, I've always loved the fights. I've always loved to predict them. Um, okay. Yeah. You know, we 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 done. Like before, you used to talk about other subjects. Other subjects. We do. Did you begin the the whole process uh, uh, together, or just after you begin to talk about other subjects, you you started to talk about MMA. I, you know, we, we just kind of did everything. It, it, unlike, unlike other channels that may have a specific focus, uh, like, hey, they just talk about MMA, and a lot of channels do that, or some channels just talk about politics, we took the position and, and uh, you know, of we talk about anything that we want to talk about. Anything that is interesting to us, we feel like our fans and our audience are going to like, and I think that's been very well received. And so we just talk about whatever we like. MMA and sports are a big part of my life, so I obviously want to talk about that. And I, you know, I like to predict the fights. I've done very, very well in, in my predictions. Um, and we like to, yeah, we like to talk to the fighters. We like to mix it up. We like to ask questions, and you know, and and, and make it fun. Do you have like a percentage of, of, or something like that uh, of the fights you get right on the prediction? That's a great did question. You start, did you start to did you start to think I, about that sometimes? And I I I got this, I get this right. I don't get this right. Very accurate. Um, okay. With, with my with my predictions. And, and do you have any kind of sponsors? Or, and then how is the production of your show? Is it just you and the camera and and Paul calling you? How does it work? Yeah, 
it, it's we do different things. A lot of our videos are, you know, me, the camera, and Paul, you know, my brother, or other guests like yourself calling me, and we'll do it like this. Of course, we go on location. We have a number. I don't know if you've seen. We have a number of videos where we'll sit down and yeah. talk to the fighters, like Jake Shields or yeah. Josh Koscheck or Kane Velasquez. So, yeah, so we we do that, and then of course we go to. To the events, and you know, we'll do the Strike Force weigh-ins, and we'll we'll talk to the fighters there, and and the, and that kind of stuff. And we've gone to the to the open workouts with the UFC at the UFC gym with Junior Dos Santos and Anderson Silva. So we do it all. We we, we mix it we mix it all up, and um, you know, we want to bring the fans the 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 kind of access, the kind of entertainment, the kind of views that, that they want. We do it a, a little bit differently. Um, we're not trying to approach it. We approach it in a different way, you know. I mean, Ariel Hawani's going to do it his way. You know, Karen Bryant's going to do it her way. There's different people that have their own style. We have our own style. Um, I think, okay. you know, the the difference between one of the differences between some of those folks maybe and and myself is I can get on the mat with an MMA fighter and actually, you know, go at it pretty much full speed, you know, I mean, you know, I was doing, oh, okay. yeah, and so, you know, and, and we can video, we've done, a, I did a demo, for instance, about how to beat GSP before the Jake Shields fight, and people seem, oh, yeah, people seem like that, we were actually at the Combat Sports Academy, and uh, we, you know, we got up against the cage, we got on the mat, we were doing some different things, and it was fun. Oh, and, and, and as a fighter as well, how does it occur on YouTube predictions and videos like this? Uh, only taking the MMA part. How much does it help to promote the sport, in your opinion? I think it's critical. You know, I think that it's absolutely critical. Um, to me, you know, a lot of a lot of the forms and stuff obviously do a, a, a great job. The one that I like is, at least that I post at personally, is MMA uh, uh, mix. Sorry, mixed martial arts. Dot com uh, it, it, it's where I go and in, in the underground forum and okay. yeah and we po and I post there uh, what I like about that forum is that there's a lot of pros that actually you know I've seen Shane Carwin I've seen Josh Barnett there that post but and a bunch of others but you know to you know the forums are, are, are important I mean obviously what you're doing at ULL is extremely important um, but I really believe that that YouTube is a critical component to uh, promoting the sport you know if, if I can so in other words if I can do if I can sit down and like the video you did with Anderson Silva which I thought was great if I you know if you can add that to your if you can add a video component to your article or if you can sit down and talk to a fighter or you can see a fighter doing an open workout or you can look at the weigh-ins you get excited for the fight you know you get excited for the yeah. fight it helps to promote it it helps to promote the sport and then you also learn a lot more about it as well it's one thing to have someone say hey here's how I train you know in an article it's another thing to actually see them training yeah and it's actually it's easier for the guy who's just looking at the the, the, the screen than to read the, the uh, unfortunately or, or fortunately uh, it doesn't matter it's easier right the, the video uh, it's, it's a different media that, that, go, that goes easier and 